Hello all, welcome to my channel Learning Oasis. So in our previous videos, we have seen how to split a sheet into multiple different sheets in Excel and similarly consolidate multiple sheet into a single sheet. And also we have seen how to uh, consolidate multiple Excel files into a single file. But in today's video, what we are going to see is we have a consolidated file from that file we have to split it into multiple different files based on the criteria that we require right so before proceeding into the video if you haven't subscribed to my channel please go ahead and subscribe it for for doing this we are going to utilize two different concepts available in excel one is the power query and then the next one is the vba script so i will provide the entire script in the comment section or in the description which you can just copy paste it to achieve this option of splitting a file into multiple files so let's get started so this is the data i have okay in this my criteria for splitting the sheet is going to be the pass out year here it is 2019 2020 and then 2021 so i'm going to split it based on the year so let's get started now so for doing this we are going to use the power query to split this into multiple sheets so for that, I have already posted a separate video. So I'm going to run through this faster. I'll give that link in the description. Please refer that. So for that, I'm going to convert this into a table first. And then once I'm done with it, I'll go, go into the data tab. Select this option from table slash range. So it opens up the Power Query Editor. And here, I'm going to make duplicate of these files. So now I'm going to rename this based on the year. So it's 2019, 2020, and then 2021. So I'm going to go into each table and then filter as I require. So use this filter option. For this, I'm going to require only 2019. So I'll just select 2019. And then the next table, I'm going to do the same thing, but instead I'll select 2020. And here I will select 2021. So we have created two, sorry, three different tables with three different years, 2019, 2020 and 2021. So I'm going to click on close and load. So here you go. So we have three different sheets, right? So this is the data sheet and then I have split it into three different sheets. 2021, 2020 and then 2019. So the first part is completed. We have split this sheet into three different sheets. 2020, 2019, 2020 and 2021. So the next step is we want this to be converted into different files right now we have converted into different sheets now i want this into different files for that we are going to utilize the vba scripting option so let's get started for that so go into the developer tab and then click on macros and then create a new macro and i'm going to name it as split create so this is what you will get so i'm going to uh, enter the code just watch carefully i will also give the code in the description so you can make use of it Okay, so first we are assigning a location and in this location, it will save the location of the current file. So in which folder you have this file, that path will be stored in this location. Next one, we are going to start the loop. For loop. So next is, I'm going to copy the sheet. And the next one is, so we are going to copy the value in the sheet. For that, the command will be active sheet dot cells dot copy right next one we'll have to paste this to the new file that we are going to create for that the command will be active sheets dot cells dot paste special paste 
so we are going to paste it as values so for that this will be the uh, command excel paste values so in case if you feel there are some formulas in the sheet that you are copying you will have to add another line a similar command active sheets dot cells dot paste special paste is equal to excel paste formulas instead of values you will have to mention formulas so we are done with this now we are going to save this okay we'll have to save it into different files right so for that the command will be active workbook instead of sheet we'll have to use workbook here workbook dot save as and then a space underscore enter now we are going to specify the file name for this so file name is equal to location so location is the part where we have uh, where we have the original file so all these files will be getting pasted in the same folder so we are using that same location here and then use the ampersand then within double quotes you will have to use the backslash this is for referencing the location and then another ampersand so for file name we are going to use the name of the sheet itself so sheet dot name so what this will do is uh, for instance we had sheet names right 20 19 20 and then 21 it will make use of the same names sheet name dot ampersand and then we'll have to give the extension dot xls so we are done with this and then the next one will be next sheet So we are done with the code. Let's just run it and see if there are any errors. Here we have an error. It has to be active sheet instead of active sheets. The command should be active sheet. So we are done now. So let's run it. Okay. So once you do that, now you will see we have separate files created here. We had five different tabs in the original sheet. Correct. So sheet one data 2021, 20, 2020, 20, and then 2019. So it will create tabs for each sheet. Okay. So here you are 2021. And this will have the data of 2021. And then 2020. This will have the data from 2020. And then finally 2019. So this will have the data of 2019. So we had five different tabs and then we have five different sheets let's get into the folder then check it so this is the folder and this has been saved just now 2019 2020 2021 and then data and sheet these two we don't require right these are this, the data is the original sheet and then sheet one i just had it for reference so forget that our requirement is 2019 2020 and 2021 and we have accomplished that right so I will give this query in the uh, description section. So if you are going to try this, just copy paste the code and then it should help you split the file into multiple different files. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you all.